Yer, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. And today, you guys see the title and the thumbnail, man. We are back at the track, eighth mile, of course, because that's all we got in Houston right now. Y'all see, we got Vader, we got the hood popped. I actually just made the first pass when I pulled up, um, hot lapped the car. So, I'm gonna go ahead, roll that intro, and then we'll go ahead and run the first pass, and I'll talk to you guys about it. Alright you guys, so as you guys seen, that was the first pass, man. Unfortunately, the car actually has E61 in it right now, so the E content is hella low. That's kind of hurting us. And then on top of that, the car was hot. I just drove it about 30 some minutes, as you guys seen, to get up here. So the car was hot, it was a hot lap. Right now, it is sitting. I went ahead and sent the log over to RK. He actually already sent the revision and I uploaded it up to the car already. We're just waiting for them to finish prepping so we can go ahead and make the next pass. Luckily, the track doesn't close until 12 and I think it's like 9.30 right now. So I did show up late because I was doing some stuff to the car, which you guys would have seen if you've been in tune with all the videos. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I was late, but we did make it here. Here. We did make the first pass in the books already, so let's see what RK got. Let's see what Vader got. Hopefully, we can get a 7-0 or a 6-9 today. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know. As you guys can see, man, we got Vader sitting right here, man, looking good in the staging lanes. Got him sitting on that Mickey Thompson tire in the rear. We're gonna see how it goes. We got no seat in the car right now. We are good at no back seat neither. So yeah, man, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what we can get Vader to do. Like I said, the goal of today is to get low, low sevens. Like we're trying to go seven zero or at a six nine. Honestly, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do it just because the level of content of the E is hella low. But we'll see what happens, man. All right, y'all. So I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but it is sprinkling right now, bro. So they probably gonna end up shutting down the track. Y'all can see we still in the lanes right now, bruh. So hopefully, you never know, bruh. If we make a second pass, we make a second pass. If not, I'm sorry, y'all. I tried. I really tried. If you've been watching all the vlogs, then you know I really, really tried. So we'll see what happens, though, y'all. Many unbearable hours later. Yerp. All right, you guys. So as y'all can tell from the SpongeBob announcer and the fact that I'm not at the track, bro. Um, it's been a couple hours, really it's been a couple days, <laughs> I can't lie, but let's go ahead and get into it, man. So as you guys saw at the beginning of this video, man, we were able to go ahead and get one pass in at the track that was a hot lap. Um, we had just pulled up to the track, just made it, went through tech, and then pulled straight into the stage and lane staged and made our pass. Um, the car actually went 7.5, it trapped 97 miles an hour, and I believe it did a 1.7 in the 60 foot. Um, so, you know, very unfortunate situation, man. Um, let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown. So basically, bro, um, all day that day, I had been running around like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to get my front sway bar taken off of the car. Um, I was supposed to go to one of the homies dealerships and get it done but bro and the tech had some miscommunication i guess i don't know and the tech thought that it was basically just the sway bar end links and not the actual sway bar itself so he wasn't able to do it for me so that was like two to three hours wasted already um but i was just like you know what it is what it is i hit up rk and i told him i'm like yo bro i'm not gonna be able to get the sway bar off and rk was like bro i'm not going for that like we need to get the sway bar off we're trying to make this car faster um so we definitely need the sway bar off because it's gonna help you with weight transfer when you're leaving off the line so i'm like all right bro i end up going to harbor for a grabbing jack stands 
all of this is documented you guys would have seen the video if you've been in the loops if you've been in the loop with all of the vlogs then you definitely would have already seen this video but I'm not gonna lie that video didn't do too good so if you guys could do your boy a favor after this video make sure you go tap in with all of the previous videos from this week man it really helps your boy out when you guys are watching the videos dropping comments and leaving likes as far as not only just confidence for me that you guys are enjoying what you're seeing but also YouTube sees that and they pump my videos into the algorithm and that's how we get more J.I. Squad members. So that being said, man, um, went ahead, got the sway bar off the car, drove all the way to the track, man. Unfortunately, I had to fill the car up with 93 when I was leaving Harbor Freight. I put $5 of 93 in the tank, bro. Thinking that it was gonna burn from the distance it took me to get from Harbor Freight to my house to the HEB where the E85 is at and then from the HEB to the track. I'm thinking, okay, the 93 is gonna burn out and we're just gonna have E85 left in the car. We should have a good E75 content in the car, which would have been cool. But unfortunately we had E61. So like I said, the car went 7.5 on a hot lap. <laughs> We did go ahead and get a new revision as I told y'all we flashed it on the car Somebody broke their drive shaft while we were flashing the car um, And letting the car cool down so they went ahead and re-prepped and then once they were done re-prepping They got on the mic told us hey, we just finished prepping We're about to go ahead and continue with the racing and then literally they got off the mic and it started to drizzle now at first Everybody was like, okay, it's just light rain, like light drizzles, we should be good. Even the announcer got back on the mic and was like, yo, bro, like, we're good, we're gonna stay open, we're gonna close at 12.30, we'll wait for the rain to like dry up a little bit and then we'll re-prep again and we'll commence with the racing. Unfortunately, bro, as soon as he got off the microphone again, it started raining 10 times harder than it was raining before. Like now you could actually see the rain drops off in the distance so they ended up shutting down the track unfortunately um this really sucks because you know i was so ready to get the car dialed in um i'm actually not even in the city right now um so and i won't be for a minute so i'm not gonna be able to get to the track in a while um so i was definitely trying to get the car dialed in at the track before i left so that you guys could get the content and we could always we can have the peace of mind knowing that the car was dialed in and we can finally see what vader can do before we unlock the tcm but Unfortunately, y'all, Mother Nature had other plans. We weren't able to actually make multiple runs at the track. We only made one run, like I told y'all, which really sucked. I ain't gonna lie because the car left hard. Like, the car left way harder than it's ever left, and I only stalled it up to 1,000 RPM, bro. The next run, we were gonna stall it up to 1,400 and see how hard it would leave and see if it liked it. But we weren't able to, man. So that being said, y'all, unfortunately, we were not able to dial the car in at the track yet again. <laughs> so hopefully the next time we get out to the track, the weather is good. It holds out. There's no rain and it's not overly hot. You know what I'm saying? It actually has a good DA and we can finally dial this car in. Um, but I want to give a huge shout out to my boy RK over at RK Speed, man. Again, shout out to you, Brody. You know what I'm saying? Not too many tuners are going to sit there and bring their computer home with them and be trying to tune your car at 1 a.m. or You know what I'm saying? So that being said, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my boy RK. Like I've told y'all in multiple videos, if you need anything Chevy related tuned, Get at my dog and he'll get you right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was low-key a fail, man. I hope you guys will still give this video a thumbs up and still drop a comment on this video just for the effort that I had to put in to even get to the track. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and drop a comment in the comment section down below for the kid. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.